We are continuing the conversation this week about pacifier use and pediatric habits. So I had a patient one time come in with their baby and the binky fell on the floor in the dental office and then they picked it up and put it in their mouth to clean it off and then put it in the baby's mouth before I could realize what was happening. There were so many things going on wrong with that. One incentive to parents to get their patient to discontinue use is there was a study done, and I'll put the link in, that talked about that how there's a 56% increase in caries on the children who use pacifiers versus a 10% in those who were non-pacifier sucking children. So that might be one good motivator, the caries risk factor. And I'm wondering what are some of your recommendations on how to discontinue use? Because sometimes this is a hard habit to break, right? My usual go-to for parents is saying, get rid of all the binkies except for one, and then each day poke a little hole. Poke another little hole, or maybe each week you could go as slow as you want. Maybe cut off a little bit, little increments each day until it just really becomes not very satisfying for the child. And then they're like, hmm, I don't really need it anymore. So that's usually my go-to, but I'm wondering if you have other recommendations of things that you've tried with your patients or things that have worked on discontinuing use of the pacifier.